Hmm, here's something. A deep dark hole. My favorite. Alright, can I do anything with these anything with these boxes at all? I can't get them out of here, obviously. I don't believe they're gonna fit down the hole. Either. Are they just to get me out? I don't think I need them. No. Let's see if it fits. Uh <laughs> No. Hmm. Flow control for excavation pumps. Flow control for the lower acid pit. Flow control for steam exhaust. Ignition. What's the point in burning thin air? Okay, so I could burn stuff? Can I burn industrial barrels? Oh god, there's a gray rockworm. Nope, doesn't work. Ashes. Just ashes. Hmm. Not sure I want to mess with that stuff yet. Let's try one. See what happens. Nothing much is going to happen without a fire to work the pressure. Alright, so we need a fire. Put that back where it was. There we go. How do I get a fire? What do I burn? Apparently I can't burn barrels. Unless I need to shove them all in. I don't even know if these have anything in them. This accomplishes nothing. Bullshit! This accomplishes all the things. Or not. Is there anything else here that I can do something with? Nothing in my inventory. These will not do anything until I turn on the pressure, right? Yeah. Okay. Gotta bring something down here. And since the boxes don't fit, it's gotta be something else. This is where I started from. This is not. Is there something behind you? No. What's that noise? Is that the video chat noise? It's locked. Ah. <laughs> it's just taunting me. Okay, so I need three boxes. I have at least one. This is my freebie, I guess. Were there any others? Well, there is two in that room, but... I can't get them out. Yeah. Thinking, is there anything I can do here? <sighs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, 
Does it have to be a box or could it be a barrel? I also have another idea with the barrels, but can I get the barrels out of here? I'm too impatient to climb down this ladder. Um. Ow. Ow. I can't get them out, can I? No. <laughs> I like how they freeze when they land on you. Like, yeah, I can't. Go away, voices. I'm not going to listen to you. I'm not going to listen to you. Shit. All right, not the barrels, I guess. No, it can't be. No way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Another idea is coming to me. I could... See, there is this thing here. Hmm. Which means what? Well... Hold on, let me see the height of this. Hmm. See, if I, like, put a box here, I could push another box on top of it, but... Well, let's, let's try that, actually. That might work. Maybe I could just kind of, like, inch them forwards on top of each other. I imagine you're supposed to do that, though. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. Don't, don't fall. I'll hold you up with my head. Yeah. Okay. Can't get the, can't get the other one. One will have to do, though. This this will allow me to activate it. So long as it doesn't need to be held down, if I can just activate the whole thing once, I can just have two boxes and then stand on the third button. It might be a one-time thing. So that actually might be okay. Which way did I need to go? This way? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't need to be held down. Okay, what did that do? Oh, it exploded the door for some reason. Wood? Ah, I know what I can do with you. Six, four, what? Nine, seven. Six, four, nine, seven, right? Six, four, nine, seven. All right, I've got it, but what's it for? Six, four, nine, seven. Get out of here. A hatch. Oh, hi. One key remaining. I repeat, one key remaining. I'm assuming I need all three pieces of wood. Shit. Where was it? I'm gonna have to individually ferry each piece of wood. Oh my god. I don't know where it was. Uh, here. What the? Did I hear someone walking? I think I did. Weird, you can't. 
Oh, I thought it disappeared for a second. It's just right there. You actually can't throw the wood. This is me pressing the throw button. It just falls. But yet, just a little while ago, I was able to throw a 40-pound car battery extremely far. This is the beginning. Okay, this way, then left, then right. Nope. Here, left, and then right. Nope, left, and then left. Close enough. It was, it was really close. It was totally wrong. Every single step was wrong, but other than that, it was close. Left, right, right, left, left, left. I don't know, I'll find it. Here it is. And whip. Eh, I don't feel like walking down this. I mean, climbing down this. You don't walk down a ladder. I don't think it works like that. It may not last long, but it'll burn. Well, we could supplement the fire with an empty barrel. Oh, I can only put one in at one time. Alright. Here we go. Two minds are better than one, they say. Yet my half a mind is better than two. The minds boggle. Together our one and the half minds could rule the world. Red would most likely settle for a quiet place to take a map, you understand. But choosing is best kept for beggar. Oh, I love Red and his strange manner of speaking. Okay, now what do I do with these things? Do I just activate all of them? That seems dangerous. Excavation bumps. Sure. Um. Not really sure what good that did. Acid pit. Sounds dangerous. Steam exhaust? Sure. Well, that's it. Or can you only have one active at one time? No, you can have them all. Or not. Not really sure how this works. I don't even know what, what am I trying to do? What's my end goal here? I have no idea. None. Alright, well, let's try the acid pit. Which was right back at the beginning. Have you been there the whole time? See if anything's different. Something certainly sounds different. Whoa. Okay, yeah, that's that's active. Got an active pit of acid here. Okay, wonderful. I'm riding up on the fumes, just don't breathe in, Philip. Why is this such a long hallway? I don't like long hallways in horror games. Maintenance hatch. Yeah, I'm going to avoid that. Key total equals exit sufficient. It's a locker. 
It's locked. <laughs> the locker is locked. Surprise! The locker continues to live up to its name. Alright, so I need... What the hell is that? So I need at least one box up here. Probably two. Which I could probably just take up with me on the lift, maybe? Whoa, where does this go? Hmm. What the hell is all this stuff? Another locked logger. The keypad must be the. Oh, wait, here we go. Well, that's easy. And it's 6497. Wait, was there a key on the other one? I need to go check. I'm pretty sure there wasn't, but. What is that? A jar containing some sort of chemical. Sulfur. What am I gonna do with sulfur? Um. Maintenance shaft, maybe? Let's put it there first. Let's deal with that later. Keypad, keypad? No. Alright, so this thing, that's another lift that doesn't work. I need to go down. There's a box. How do I get it up? Oh, number three. Steam exhaust, caution, steam release may be hot and powerful. Ooh, I like hot and powerful things. Mm. <laughs> of course, there's another. Oh, no, I thought it was another locked gate that isn't actually locked, but no, it's not. Okay. So, if I activate number three. I should be good. You know, given the sounds that I was hearing from that thing where I was activating the different wheels, I'm guessing you can only have two active at one time. I'm hoping it's not one. I know you can't have all of them active. At least I'm pretty sure you can't. But I think you can maybe get two. That sounds nasty, doesn't it? Sounds like he just broke his bones. Alright. Acid lift should be over here. Mm hmm. And it's still active. Excellent. And the box should be up there, which means I can put the box on the thingy up here and stuff's gonna happen. Please don't smash my head. Please don't dip me in acid. Okay. We're good. Neither of the above happened. Whee! Backwards bunny hop, backwards bunny hop. Just don't hop into the hatch. Ah, come with me. Wait, where am I going with this? Is it right here? Yeah. Okay, so that's all I need from that lift. I shouldn't need to use it again, so I can probably redirect the flow to number two. Or... Which one is this? Upper acid pit. Wait a minute, maybe maybe I can't activate that one. There's no number. Hmm. Okay. What did that do? Ah, open this switch gives me another chemical. What am I doing with the chemicals? What is it? Nitrogen. Okay, what can I do with nitrogen and sulfur? I have no idea. I have literally no idea what combining those things could possibly do. None. I've never taken chemistry.
do I like just <laughs> dump them in and start a reaction? Doesn't sound safe, but don't really have a lot of options here. Yeah, why not? Whatever. Here, have fun. Sulfur. No, go in. Um, I'm gonna close that. Oh, so you the sit will be upon us. There will be a banquet of rats for the finest champagne. Hands will be patted and backs vigorously shook. This will most likely take place in old red mine, you understand. But glorious it will be all the same. I guess I reinvigorated the acid pit. That only took a little bit of sulfur and nitrogen. Hmm. Oh, this has got to be the other... Uh, the other one I need to activate. Yeah, right? Yep, number one. Excavation pump area. Man, I'm pretty sure if you're over an acid pit and you have, like, acid fumes just coming up at your face like this, I'm pretty sure you would... you wouldn't be okay. I don't think you'd be okay. Alright, back to the Burnerarium. Break our legs. Wee. Whoa. What the hell was that? Did you gotta be fucking kidding me? Oh. I thought I thought it was locked in. Never mind. Alright, turn number one on. Number two must be on. Number three does not matter, so I will turn that off. Who knew? I could do all of that with just one piece of wood. You know, just to be certain. Let's get a couple more in here. Oh, they just disappear. Fun fact, every time I climb a long ladder, I take a sip of my tea. Because there's nothing else for me to do. It's the perfect time. Really, it fits me perfectly. It's almost as if they just knew. They knew that the player needed a, a tea break. A time when their hands didn't have to be on the keyboard. Yeah. Smell it all. Oh, smells like... Well, I can't smell anything anymore because my entire nasal cavity has just, um, been... turned into mush by the acid. That's unfortunate. Uh, those don't go all the way down into the acid, do they? No, they don't. Okay. Player, your journey is almost at an end. Please don't leave me here alone. I'm sorry, slightly self-conscious narrator, but I don't really care about you. Goodbye. Well, she's not really a narrator, I guess. Spokesman? I don't know, the voice of the shelter? Truth is the consensus of opinion. 
Uh, no. No, it's not. <laughs> I, I don't agree with that at all. But anyway. not running, and probably never will. Can't see any way to get this open. It sounds like there's something behind it. Actually, never mind, that's coming from here. Hmm. Not exactly in the best state of repair. Ooh, that was a very early puzzle in Penumbra Overture. It just so happens I see a rather heavy object. Alright, hold on. How, how far can I throw this? Okay, I'm gonna trick shot this one. <laughs> see, I am MLG No Scope at solving puzzles. I am the best. Except what I'm not. But otherwise, I'm the best. These damn fans again. You know what's so strange about them to me is that they're so high quality. Seriously, they have some of the highest quality textures in the entire game. Look at that compared to the wall. It's just way high quality, uh, way more high quality, way higher quality assets than the wall or lots of other stuff in the game, and yet I almost never see them. Except on shelves. It's very strange. What the hell? Do you, do you know what I just did? I just threw the fan. That's all I did. I just pressed right click when it was at the wall, and then it just, like, zoomed down and disappeared. Why does stuff disappear? Let's try that again. For science. Okay. It's in the wall. Now I'm going to right click. Okay. That's what I expected. Again. 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 All right. Oh, and now it's gone. And I hear, I can hear it. Like, as soon as I did that for the first one, and when I just did it for that one, I could hear a very faint sound in the distance, as if it's not just disappeared off the map, but it actually moved somewhere and actually hit something. But the first one, I actually heard a splash. What about this? Can I make this disappear? It seems to be related to whether the item is clipping through something. It seems like if it's clipping through something and then you throw it, it can disappear because I guess it's... The way the physics engine works, it considers it... Like, because you're inside of it, you're not... You shouldn't collide with it or something. Ooh, look at this, I can rub it on the wall. It's like I'm kneading dough. Except the dough is the wall. And it's not getting any flatter. Actually, sorry, that's not kneading dough, that's rolling dough. My brain was thinking of something else, but closely related. The water is electrified. Oh shit, we got a deep blue Z situation. Hmm, except there's no sharks. What if I go in the water and just constantly pop pain pills? I'll take one step, I'll take one step and then I'll pop some, take another step, then I pop some, and then... Okay, maybe not. Or we could just do this. Solved. It's dead. Um, that's not good. Wait a minute, that didn't even really hurt me. Huh. I shouldn't have crouch jumped.
Let's go ahead and turn off that power. And turn on whatever that did. Ooh, turn on this room. What about this? Not sure what that does. Empty. <sighs> oh, hi. <laughs> I like how these grates are not even, like, on. They're just resting there. It's dead. Hold on, is it still dead if I do this? Yep. Alright, well I turned on something that I don't know. And turned off the electricity that was trying to kill me, so that's pretty good. Ah, this is the other side. Wait, don't tell me that's what I turned on. Looks unfriendly. I don't know, I think the water could use a hug. Why don't you give it give it a try, Philip? I'll watch. Ah. Ah, boxes. Let's have some fun here. Yeah, I can make that. Actually, I probably just need one more. There we go. Ah, I saw you, Pills. What are you doing there? That's not where painkillers are supposed to be. They're supposed to be in drugstores. And in your medicine cabinet, or whatever the hell you call it. Interesting structure. Looks like the command center. What does that say? Something works for dummies. Ne oh, networks for dummies. Oh, it looks like. What the hell? Why did that just close? Creepy. Alright, I need to power something up. Somewhere. I don't know where. Nothing must be broken. Yeah, there's no power up here. Something we must remedy. I suppose I could remedy the problem by taking a lot of painkillers. Maybe all my painkillers? Maybe the maximum amount of painkillers would remedy the situation? <coughs> Sorry, horrible puns always make me cough. Oh, here it is. Where's the other end go? There's no power going to the control panel. Um. Oh, right there. Hold on, hold on. Uh. Almost. Uh. Almost. Uh. There we go. Get out of my way. Stupid tripping hazard. I need to reroute the power to this area. Oh. Oh. Alright.
I don't remember closing this door either. I don't know, sometimes objects and doors and stuff will kind of just move a little bit on their own. It's locked. So it's actually possible that was it. And they didn't... And they weren't closed by some sort of spirit or something. Oh god. The circuit bank must route power for the entire area. Wouldn't want to mess with it without something resembling instructions. Instructions, please. It's dead. <laughs> My nemesis burnt... I forgot what these were called. Cards of some sort. Programmable card things. Oh, I can move these. That's really strange. Why? How come it lets you do that? I can move them from side to side. I can't actually push them, though. Wait, wait, wait. It's a circuit diagram. Wonder how I can put this to use. What the hell am I even looking at? Does that match what's over here at all? Not exactly. Hold on, it's um Alright, so it's a four by four grid. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, it is a four by four grid. Okay. Um, let me write that down. Okay, got that one, got that one. Got that one. Mm-hmm. Oh shit, I wrote it in the wrong spot. Yeah. Over to the right. Next one, over to the right, and down one. Next one, and then down one. Down again. Right one. Right another one. And then left. And then down. Wait. Two, three. Wait a minute, that's not a four by four. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. There's five. Something's not right here. Yeah, I can't even do anything with this yet, so... It doesn't even matter at the moment. Okay. Let's leave that for now. We have some more half-lifing to do. a locked door. Is that an explosive? Huh? That looks like an explosive. What am I going to be blowing up? What? I, uh, what is up with these fans? <laughs> okay, there's a black hole here. But it only accepts fans. It's a very peculiar, peculiar black hole. Very specific tastes. It only likes to eat fans. Anything else? Boxes? Do you like do you like boxes? Black hole? No. Black hole no like boxes. This looks dangerous.
It's marked nitroglycerin. I probably shouldn't chuck this around. Better be careful. Yeah. Again, what do I blow up? I don't know. Let's take it somewhere. Sure as hell doesn't belong in this room. I don't even think I need it yet. Probably need it for something over here, I would guess. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if I need this plug for another room. Well, hold on. I shouldn't take it out yet. I just, I know I don't need it for this room yet. But I should keep on the lookout for that, because I couldn't move it. There's really only a couple rooms to go into, so what do I need to do exactly? Let's look for a plug. Any plugs. Plug, plug, plug. Plug, plug, plug. Plug, plug, plug. No, I could go back to activate the power. To a different area, but would it really let anything in? Wait, what is this? Oh, nothing, apparently. I need something resembling instructions. I kind of already have that, sort of. Doesn't seem to count, though. I don't imagine I'm supposed to go back. I seriously doubt they'd want me to go back, like, here. Right? I don't think they would. But if not, then what do I do? That didn't even hurt me. I mean, I could reroute the power, I suppose. I don't think I'm supposed to go back here, though. It doesn't feel like something they would do. But I'll see if anything changes, I guess. Yeah, I really doubt it. First one? Sure. Really don't think it's gonna make a damn bit of difference. Alright, yeah, I turned off the ability to open the door, but it doesn't matter. this thing being that black? Looks like it's been blown up. Was it blown up last time I looked at it? Hmm. Back across we go. Don't think that did a damn thing. No, it didn't. What am I supposed to do with this? There's nothing I need to blow up. I'm confused. I'm gonna work on this puzzle a little bit more, and I will be right back. Alright, I found the solution. Or at least, well, not really the solution, but I found out what I was missing. 
What you're supposed to do is put these in here. Yeah, the cards. That's what you're supposed to do. I didn't realize that. So, let's get all of these over here. Whoa. What the hell? I think it just messed up and then respawned. It seems like the, um... The objects you need to solve the puzzles will actually respawn if something... If they disappear. To ensure that the puzzle is always solvable. For example... In fact, I might as well do this right now, because when I was messing around with stuff, I moved a lot of objects around in ways that I probably shouldn't have, because they were unnecessary. So I need to go get the nitroglycerin again, which I took where? Where, where did I take the nitroglycerin? Somewhere back... Oh yeah, here we go. And don't forget, remember kids, when handling nitroglycerin, always be very careful. That didn't hit as well as I thought it would. Let's try that again. Excellent. Remember, in reality, nitroglycerin is actually not very explosive. I'm just kidding, it'll totally, totally blow up your face. So, for example, let's say, hmm... This might get lost in the endless void. Oh no, what am I gonna do? It just respawns. And so do you. Oh no! What am I gonna do? Respawn. Yep. Alright, so let me finish making my diagram here. Alright. Two, one, two, do, do. Do, 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 do. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep, yep. Alright, that's good. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Yep, yeah, that everything works. Excellent. All right. First one. It nope. Get out of there. And then, wait. Do I have enough for this? Wait. Wait. I don't have enough to finish this. Or do I? I'm confused. Looking at my diagram, this doesn't make any sense. This, this makes no sense, looking at my diagram now. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so I'm, I'm finishing one of the lines. I can't do all of them, though. But I'm doing the biggest. Which I actually can't complete. Oh. Alright, so yeah, I just have to pick which place I want to rewrite the power to. I can't do all of them at the same time. Okay. Okay. I am supposed to have power here? No. Which place did I do? Hopefully the control room. Yes, yes, there is light. Wait, what? What the fuck? Um, that doesn't look right. Did it stretch to fit? What the fuck? What the hell? <laughs> Reality is bending at the place of the socket. Look at that. That is so strange. I guess it morphs to try to fit. Alright, we got the gigantic and incredibly impractical transportation mechanisms. Reactivated. And this thing's still dead. Nothing must be broken. Okay. Let's go across. 
but not before doing this. Gotta take this with me, don't wanna drop it. Uh, oh, oh god, oh no, I dropped it. Oh hi. Actually, I probably do need to take it with me, don't I? I certainly can't use it back here, so it's probably used up here. Wait, come back, come back! Oh hi. I see you, Key. I believe I need two more. One more. One key remaining. I repeat, one key remaining. Well, that's actually something that I did off camera, by the way, when I was going back and trying to figure out what to do. The first room where there was the electrified water and I was jumping across the boxes. There was actually a key in that room and I had forgotten to get it. So I went back and I got it. <laughs> ah, it's the amnesia torch. Lantern, I mean. I'm gonna take you with me. Oh, God. I didn't try to do that. I was trying to turn it around. Oh, now I'm sad. It's okay, there's another one down there. Cord? Mm, is that a cord or a rope? I mean, it doesn't have a tip. Kind of looks like a cord, but I think it's just a gigantic rope. Perhaps a metal rope. Or metal, whatever you, what do you call a metal rope? Like twisted, strand, bra braided metal stuff? I don't even know what you call it. I'm obviously going to need it, though. Come with me. Just gotta be careful. Is it raining ash? This is like the entrance to, um... The room right before the chemical storage. Right before where I mixed all the chemicals in... Overture. I'll leave you there. That looks flammable. Oil. Looks fresh. And, what do you know, just like where I met Red. You know, this might be actually part of my memories of what happened, because I remember this. This fan, although I think it was a little bit different than what how it looks now. It was more red. And there was an entrance over to the left where you had to jump across those little pillars to get to the chemical storage or chemical mixing place. But right ahead was something just like this that I had to blow up. This tunnel, this cave-in, I know this place. What's happening to me? Yeah, this is from my memory. All right, well, that's got to be what this is for. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Um, oh, it is a rope. It's my fuse. Sort of. Oh my god, that's really cool. That is really cool. Alright. Here we go. Come with me!
My congratulations, dear boy. You arrived. You will find your escape now. Your friend is well chosen. Insanity, after all, is rare in individuals. Only in humanity as a whole is it the rule. Nietzsche. I will remain here. Oh God, no. This half place continues to be the only challenge to my knowledge. May you enjoy your fate, Philip. What is left of it? What is left of it? This is just like the end of Overture. Exactly like it. Same door, same door on the left. Just about the same opening on the right, although I don't think it was quite arranged like this. No, it's a little bit different. It's twisted. It's not perfectly remembered. Deja vu. Key total equals exit sufficient. Well, this looks the same. Except there was a noose there. Now there isn't. Slugs are the same, the hole is the same, pictures are the same. about this panel. Can't touch it. It won't budge. Yeah, that's that's a little bit different. I too am versed in poetry of the mind, and I am well chosen indeed, for there is some madness in my love and some reason in my madness. Yet I cannot help but feel unprepared. The banquet is only half-baked, the rats are only but partially squeezed, and you find me once more within this metal burning chamber. But the chamber, like the banquet, is of the mind. The only way out of it is within it. I have knocked on death's door many times before, but the both of us will this time be taking tea. It is only through pain that we know we are alive, and this time, my friend, the pain must end. Would you return to the world from which you came, drown in the chitter-chatter? Boret's answer is no. Better to have a story and end it than never to realize it has begun. Do I have to kill him again? I... This belongs in the past. Someone else's past. Not my present. I guess I have to. Thank you, my friend. This is going to hurt. I joined him. The end. That's the end. I, wow, it said it was supposed to like clear up some loose ends, but I don't think that really cleared up any loose ends. That really didn't clear up a single thing, at least for me, unless I missed something. Huh. Not that I really wanted it to. Like I mentioned before, I, I was happy with the end of Penumbra Black Plague. Strange. 
So yeah, let's um, let's dig into it a bit. I don't think I'll talk about Requiem for as long as I did the first two because, well, it's not all that uh, big. I mean, it's an expansion pack. It's not a full game. So, from what I read, I don't know if this is accurate, but just from what I read, it was meant to tie up some loose ends, kind of explore some characters that were not explored very much, and also kind of just showcase the physics engine of the game, sort of. Make more use of the physics. And, well, it pretty much did all of those, except I don't think it really tied up any loose ends for me, but it did develop some uh, characters. Some more. Not much. But a little bit more. So let's get into it a little bit, but looks like this is the end of the credits. So once again, let's see if anything happens at the end. Anything special? I wonder if I got all the collectibles. I almost certainly didn't. Hello. Ah, statistics. Yep, three and a half hours, <laughs> four out of nine. Nope, didn't even get half. The rest were probably hidden inside of trash cans and stuff. Okay, well, yeah. So, it does seem to develop the characters. Uh, a bit more Eminus and... Um, was it just Eminus? There, there were other people, right? I mean, it doesn't really develop Red anymore. You get to hear more of him, which is nice, because I really like him as a character. I think he's really interesting. Especially his very strange vocabulary and way of speaking. It's really unique and... And actually humorous. It's really, it's a nice bit of humor in such a dark game just to hear Red speak. But yeah, Eminus... I think it was Eminus. Or was it I don't know, whoever the guy next to you... Um, in the cell next to you... At the beginning of Black Plague, the one you hear getting carried away. The one that you listen to the tape from. I'm not sure if that was Eminus. I don't think it was. But whoever he is. Yeah, his character has developed a little bit more, which is nice. Because you hear him talk about getting dragged away, and then I was thinking back to, oh yeah, I, I know exactly when that happened. I heard it happen. So it's nice to have that connection and kind of have that fleshed out a little bit more. A little bit more. To know kind of what happened. However, again, it's not really developed very far, it's just there's a little bit. It goes a little bit more in, more in depth than what I saw before, but it's not very much. There's a little bit more on Eminus. Aside from that, not really much of anything, and as far as what happened to Philip, no, it, I don't, it doesn't really seem to, to tie it up at all, which I'm okay with, I'm just... Yeah, I don't even feel like they tried to tie up the story at all. I think that characterization of Penumbra Requiem being intended to tie up the story might be wrong, because it doesn't feel like it even is trying to. It takes place right at the very end of Black Plague, right after he sends the message. He gets knocked out. And then apparently all of this takes place within his mind while, while he's knocked out, or something like that. He was, just, he was just on the floor at the end of Requiem. So, it doesn't really take... It doesn't really develop the end of Black Plague at all. It basically takes place right at the end, and that's where it stays. Because it's all within his mind. Right there in front of the computer. Um, But yeah, overall, it's just... It definitely doesn't feel like a full part of the Penumbra series. Because it doesn't develop the story, and because it's so focused on the puzzles. It's kind of just a... To me, it just feels like a bit of fun. It's not very... I can't take it very serious. I don't get a lot from it. I felt I felt satisfied with the end of the of Black Plague. I felt satisfied with the first two games. And I don't feel like this really adds all that much to the story. That's particularly interesting to me. I wasn't really as engaged with it because it wasn't as narrative-focused. It's much more puzzle-focused. Uh, but nonetheless, I still liked it. Because it uses, it's all about the puzzles, as you can tell. It is really all about the puzzles. There's very little narrative of any sort. And um, it does them well. Because Frictional Games is really good at making and utilizing their physics engine. Their physics system to make some really unique and satisfying puzzles. And that's what they continue to do. 
And yeah, it just felt like they were just trying to... It just felt like they were trying to have a bit of fun. Really, with this expansion pack. Like, they... It seems like they have it take place in somebody's mind, or some sort of dreamscape of some sort, so that they're not bound by... the laws of... Like, they're not bound and obligated to make the world seem plausible. So they kind of just threw that out the window. It seems like they created a, an excuse to be able to throw whatever the hell they want in there for a puzzle, and it works. It's a dreamscape, so it doesn't really matter what happens. And naturally, you get a lot of crazy things, like these crazy box puzzles and these absurd factories that don't really make any particular sense and wouldn't exist in the real world. Like, just for the sake of having a puzzle. And it works. Because, again, it's like some sort of a dreamscape. It's created for you. It seems like a test for you. It seems like you're a rat in a maze. So it works. It's, it really is all about the puzzles. It has a little bit of flavor of Penumbra. You know, it's got some of the narrative elements, it's got some of the characters involved a little bit, but it doesn't really develop them all that much. And I don't think it was trying to. So in the end, it's not as interesting to me as the rest of the game. Uh, the rest of the series. But I still really enjoyed it, just because it's fun to mess around with the... The physics engine. To a much larger degree than you could in the original games. I think the reason, the main reason that it's not as interesting to me as the rest is because the reason that you're doing the puzzles is not as engaging and interesting. Because in the rest of the series, why you're trying to solve puzzles has a very strong reason. A very strong sort of narrative backing to it. It makes sense in the story. Like, there's something more satisfying about doing it because you want to... Like, you're solving this puzzle because you want to... Um, escape. You want to stay alive. You want to find your father. You want to save Amabel. Stuff like that. You know, there's a, a very clear mission. So it's really satisfying to do that stuff where you're trying to cure yourself. Whereas with this, the only real reason to solve the puzzles is basically just for the fun of it. And it is fun. But it's not as engaging to me as there being a sort of strong story backing to the reason behind the puzzles. But it's still good. It's good. It's strange. I'm really, I'm really surprised they made it. I'm, I'd like to read the exact reason why they made it. I'm a little bit, I find it a little bit strange. I'm really curious exactly what they were going for. I don't know if they were just having fun and they just wanted to mess around with the stuff they already have. You know, like, I mean, they just mostly reused assets for the most part. So it's kind of just like... I don't know, it just felt like they just kind of wanted to explore puzzles more, maybe see what their engine could do. Maybe that was the point, maybe they just wanted to see what their engine could do, kind of stress it to the max when it comes to the integrating puzzles in with their physics engine, and then maybe they just decided to kind of make it penumbra e, add a little bit of stuff from Penumbra, and turn it into a little expansion pack, I don't know. But it's pretty good. Although I definitely feel like you don't... There, I don't think there's any real reason to play it. There's no obligation to play it. I think you could stop at Black Plague and still have a good ending to the series. So unless you really want to experience the puzzles. And you really want... You're like, you really enjoy interacting with the, the puzzles and the physics system in the game. Um, if you do, then play it. If you don't, then... I don't know. It doesn't seem like there's much of a reason to. So it's kind of a strange thing. I guess it's aimed at people that just want to mess around with the physics and solve some puzzles. Well, at least that's what it felt like to me. So in that respect, it kind of appeals to me. Because again, I really like their physics system and what they do with the puzzles, so that part is great. But I also really like it when there's a really good story uh, behind what you're doing, and in that case, in this case, it doesn't have that because it's just not focused on it, so yeah. It's pretty good. It's interesting. It's kind of strange. I'm not used to seeing this from from game companies. Usually they release full games. Not little kind of strange expansion packs. Anyway. Alright. That's about all there is really to say. I mean, most of the other stuff I've already mentioned about in the previous wrap-ups for the previous two games about the graphics, which still hold up well today, the excellent sound design, um, the use of horror, which actually isn't really present here. There's almost no horror. It's, again, it's really all about the puzzles. 
There's very little narrative and there's very little horror. It's mostly just a puzzle game with very light horror elements. And all the other stuff I've talked about before, so I guess I'll end it here, yeah. Alright, well, hopefully everyone enjoyed my playthrough of Penumbra Requiem. I would like to say I'll see you on the next one, but unfortunately that is the end of the whole series. That is the end of Penumbra. And there will probably never be another one. Although, never say never. There could be. Maybe sometime far down the line. Frictional Games will decide to revisit it. There's certainly enough here that they could revisit it. There's enough characters. And it's open-ended enough that they could. Or, you know what they could even do? They don't even have to continue this exact story. They could just continue it in the same universe. Because remember, the, uh, the Xeno Research... What the hell were they? Xeno Research... I don't even know what their name was. Whatever they were. The people doing this research. The people that built the station. I remember, there was a piece of text that said this is one installation out of, what was it, like 200 and something? There's so many different installations. So they wouldn't even have to continue this exact story. Or even any of the characters we already know. They could maybe just do some other alien research station somewhere else on Earth. So, yeah, it's not impossible. It's not necessarily over. But for now, this is all that has been released. And is probably all we'll see for at least the foreseeable future. So it's been really fun to revisit the whole Penumbra series, which I haven't played in many, many years. I still don't feel ready to replay Amnesia the Dark Descent. I don't know if I ever will. I'm not sure. I've, the thing is, I've re-experienced the game so many times through watching other people play, because I played it first on my own a while ago, but then I watched so many different people play through it in different Let's Plays, so I've almost played through the game sort of like five times or something. Many times vicariously experienced through someone else, so I don't know if I ever will. But yeah, revisiting the Penumbra series has been interesting. It's a really good series. I love it. And I still love Frictional Games. They are a great game company. I really like what they do. They're... They're, um... They're really a pioneering company. In horror. Yeah, they make really interesting horror games, and they... They're always rethinking how to do horror, and they're always... They're always just really intelligent with how they do horror. They're just really damn good at it. Probably the best at it, I think. Out of any game company that makes horror games, I think they're the best. No doubt about that, to me. Yeah. Alright, well, hope everyone enjoyed. Thank you for watching.